let's talk about two of the most powerful names in wealth history, Elon Musk and Mansa Musa. Elon, the 53-year-old billionaire and the world's richest man as of December 2024, is a figure of calculated ambition. But unlike Mansa Musa, often hailed as the richest man to ever walk this earth, Musk isn't exactly known for lavish giveaways. Now let me take you back to 1324, when Mansa Musa was en route to Mecca. On his journey, he made a grand stop in Cairo. And what did he do? He spent and gifted so much gold that it destabilized the economy. I'm talking about a 10 to 25% drop in gold's value, something that rippled through Cairo's economy for 12 years. Yeah, you heard that right. A decade-long butterfly effect, all thanks to one man's opulence. Fast forward to our modern-day billionaire, Elon Musk. In 2021, he famously threw out a challenge on Twitter, or X as it's now called, saying, if the UN's World Food Program can describe on this thread exactly how $6 billion will solve world hunger, I'll sell Tesla stock right now and do it. And here's the twist. Come 2022, news outlets confirmed Musk did, in fact, donate $6 billion. But wait, not to solve world hunger. Instead, he directed it to his own foundation. Smart move? Maybe. But let's ask a bigger question. If Elon Musk had dropped that money directly into an economy, would it have caused a ripple effect similar to Mansa Musa's? Here's the thing about Musk. He doesn't just give wealth away. He invests it. You might call that selfish, but take a second to think about it. His investments don't just make him richer. They create developments, innovations, and opportunities for entire industries. The impact is often global, and now his sights are set on a new destination, the Philippines. So, what's Musk cooking up in the Southeast Asian archipelago? And why the Philippines? Today, we're diving deep into Elon Musk's growing interest in this rising economy. We'll uncover the announcements, the potential ripple effect of his investments, and how this could completely shift the Philippines' economic landscape. Trust me, you'll want to stick around for this one, because we're about to leave no stone unturned. It's official. Tesla's electric vehicles and clean energy solutions are now part of the Philippines' future. On November 8, 2024, Tesla opened its very first flagship store at Uptown Mall in Bonifacio Global City, Taguig. This wasn't just any store opening. It marked the arrival of two major players in Tesla's lineup, the Model Y and Model 3, both offered in three trims. Let's talk numbers for a second. The Model Y starts at 2.369 million Philippine Peso and goes up to 3.299 million Philippine Peso. The Model 3 starts at 2.109 million Philippine Peso topping out at 3.099 million. And here's the kicker. Tesla also introduced the Philippines' first indoor supercharger station right there in Uptown Mall at 19 pesos per kilowatt hour on a pay-as-you-go basis. Electric car owners now have a quick charging solution. It's a small but significant step toward Tesla's larger goal, accelerating the world's shift to renewable energy. Isabel Fan, Tesla's regional director, explained why the company chose the Philippines. It's the newest market with growing potential, and it aligns perfectly with Tesla's mission. The groundwork? The country's Renewable Energy Act of 2008 which set policies to boost renewable energy's share in the national grid. Tesla couldn't have found a better time to enter the scene, but Elon Musk didn't stop there. Before Tesla came knocking, SpaceX's Starlink had already started leaving its mark. If you don't know, Starlink is SpaceX's revolutionary satellite internet service that uses low-Earth orbit satellites to bring high-speed internet to remote areas. In 2022, SpaceX secured approval to launch Starlink in the Philippines, and they wasted no time. By February 23, 2023, Starlink officially announced on Twitter that its services were live in the country. But what does this really mean? It's about leveling the playing field. Take Sandalane Elementary School as an example. Students there experienced fast internet access for the first time, thanks to Starlink. For rural communities cut off from digital resources, this is a game-changer. And there's more potential on the horizon. 
What about the boring company, Musk's high-speed tunnel transportation idea? While it hasn't hit the Philippines yet, just imagine what it could mean for Metro Manila, a city infamous for traffic congestion. A future with boring company tunnels could transform the way Filipinos move, saving time and reducing the economic drain of gridlock. And then there's Neuralink, Musk's brain-computer interface startup. Southeast Asia, with its growing focus on advanced healthcare, could become a key market in the near future. While we're not there yet, Musk's ventures have a way of showing up where you least expect them. So, what does this all mean for the Philippines? Tesla, Starlink, and Musk's broader investments are positioning the country as a hub for innovation and progress. This isn't just about fancy cars or fast internet. It's about a long-term ripple effect that could reshape industries, boost economic growth, and bring sustainable technology to millions. Elon Musk's growing interest in the Philippines could be a game changer. Musk, the mastermind behind Tesla, SolarCity, and SpaceX, has a reputation for shaking up industries, whether it's electric vehicles, renewable energy, or space technology. And now, his vision could ignite major opportunities across the Philippines. Tesla's potential arrival. Imagine the bustling streets of Manila, powered by clean energy, with Tesla's electric vehicles leading the way. Tesla's entry could spark a ripple effect, inspiring local automakers to invest in EV production and pushing the government to expand EV infrastructure. Like charging stations, this isn't just about futuristic cars. It's about a shift towards sustainable transportation that's already shaping the global market. Solar power for the future. Here's where Tesla's solar city comes in. The Philippines, with its abundant sunshine, is the perfect place for solar power solutions. Rural areas facing constant power outages and high electricity costs could benefit tremendously from Tesla's solar panels and solar roof. These solutions allow homes and businesses to generate their own clean energy, cutting costs and reducing reliance on fossil fuels. For a country already committed to boosting renewable energy, Musk's investment could accelerate the transition to a more resilient, green energy future. SpaceX and Starlink, connecting the unconnected. Now picture rural schools, remote villages, and underserved areas gaining fast, reliable internet access. Thanks to SpaceX's Starlink, satellite internet could bridge the digital divide in the Philippines. This means opportunities for tech startups, e-commerce growth, and access to education for millions currently left behind. Elon Musk's ventures don't just make headlines, they create movements. If he doubles down on the Philippines, we're not just talking about investments. We're talking about a technology revolution that could transform entire industries, drive economic growth, and improve lives. Tesla Energy, a lifeline for the Philippines' power and transportation future. Imagine a future where power outages in the Philippines become a thing of the past. Tesla's Powerwall, a cutting-edge home battery system, could make that future a reality. It stores energy from solar panels during the day and keeps homes running at night or during blackouts. Something invaluable for areas with unreliable electricity. For rural and island communities, where connecting to the national grid is a challenge, Tesla's solar panels and power wall offer true independence. These communities could essentially live off the grid, generating and storing their own power, a game changer for those in remote areas. But that's not all. The Philippines faces typhoons and natural disasters that can cripple power supplies. Tesla's energy storage systems could ensure hospitals, emergency services, and communication centers stay operational during critical times. And here's where it gets even better. Tesla's energy solutions go hand in hand with its electric vehicles, EVs. As the Philippines pushes for sustainable transportation, Tesla's charging infrastructure could be powered by solar energy, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and making cleaner electric transportation a reality. Local governments are already starting to promote EV adoption, and integrating Tesla's energy storage with smart charging solutions could take things to the next level. 
Picture solar-powered charging stations across the country, supporting a fleet of electric vehicles while cutting down on emissions. On a larger scale, Tesla could partner with the Philippine government to modernize the national grid. Using smart energy management systems, Tesla can balance supply and demand, integrate renewable energy sources, and bring stability to the grid. For off-grid islands and remote regions, Tesla's microgrid solutions, which combine solar power, energy storage, and smart management, could provide stable, localized power without needing the national grid. Tesla's move into the Philippines could be the start of something transformative, sparking economic growth and paving the way for new opportunities. Imagine a future where thousands of jobs are created in solar installation, maintenance, battery storage, and building electric vehicle infrastructure. By equipping local workers with skills in renewable energy technologies, Tesla wouldn't just be offering employment, it would be empowering an entire workforce to embrace a greener future. What if Tesla took it a step further and started manufacturing its solar panels or energy storage systems right in the Philippines? This could supercharge the local manufacturing industry, reducing costs and increasing energy independence. Picture a nation producing its own solar panels and batteries, making sustainable energy not just a concept, but a way of life. Meanwhile, Starlink's high-speed satellite internet is already rewriting the connectivity story for the Philippines, especially in remote and rural areas. For a country where reliable internet has been a luxury in many regions, this is a game-changer. Imagine students in far-flung villages logging into online classes, accessing world-class educational resources, and participating in digital learning programs for the first time. It's not just about connectivity. It's about bridging the educational divide between urban and rural communities and creating equal opportunities for everyone. Starlink also has the potential to level up digital literacy. With reliable internet, people in remote areas could tap into online training, coding classes, and skill-building programs, equipping them with tools to thrive in a digital world. Schools in these areas could connect with global resources, access international research, and improve the quality of education across the board. But the impact doesn't stop at education. The agricultural sector could experience a technological revolution thanks to connectivity. Think smart farming, drone surveillance, soil sensors, automated irrigation systems, and precision farming tools helping farmers boost efficiency and adopt sustainable practices. Imagine farmers using e-commerce platforms to sell their produce directly to consumers, cutting out middlemen and tapping into broader markets to increase their earnings. Access to real-time weather data could become a lifeline for farmers, helping them prepare for typhoons and droughts, challenges they face far too often. It's a glimpse into a future where technology and connectivity don't just make life easier, but make it better for entire communities. Tesla and Starlink aren't just bringing innovation. They're opening doors to progress, opportunity, and a brighter future for the Philippines. The question is, are we ready to embrace it? In the world of healthcare, many rural areas in the Philippines face significant challenges, including a shortage of medical professionals and facilities. But imagine this. With Starlink's satellite internet, telemedicine could revolutionize access to healthcare. Residents in remote regions could consult with doctors online, receive prescriptions, and access medical advice, all without traveling miles to the nearest clinic. Starlink could also empower healthcare providers to use advanced remote monitoring devices, keeping tabs on patients with chronic illnesses or elderly individuals. This means better, more personalized care, delivered right where it's needed. Plus, healthcare workers in these areas could tap into online medical training and education programs, improving the overall quality of care for underserved communities. Now, let's shift gears to e-commerce. Picture this, sellers in rural areas connecting with buyers nationwide and even across the globe. With platforms like Shopee and Lazada, combined with reliable internet access, small businesses could thrive creating new income streams and boosting local economies. And it doesn't stop there. 
digital payment systems like Gcash and PayMaya would become more accessible, making it easier for people in remote areas to shop online, pay bills, and transfer money. Financial inclusion would take a leap forward, reducing dependence on cash transactions. E-commerce businesses could also streamline their operations, from managing inventory to tracking shipments and communicating with suppliers. Efficiency and productivity would skyrocket, benefiting both sellers and buyers alike. Let's not forget tourism, a cornerstone of the Philippine economy. Imagine remote island destinations with reliable Starlink internet. Tourists could book accommodations seamlessly, stay connected, and share their adventures online. This added convenience could make lesser-known spots more appealing to international travelers, fueling the growth of local tourism. Hotels, resorts, and small tourism businesses in these areas could showcase their offerings through virtual tours and digital advertising, drawing in global audiences and driving economic development. In the finance sector, Starlink's influence could be transformative. For rural Filipinos, internet access could mean easier banking, mobile money transfers, and access to digital wallets. Small business owners and entrepreneurs could leverage microloans and peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms to fund their dreams. Even the insurance industry could benefit, offering tailored products for health, property, and agriculture, improving financial security for rural communities. When it comes to energy and utilities, Starlink could enable smarter, more efficient power systems. Imagine smart grids in remote areas, optimizing electricity distribution and managing off-grid renewable energy setups. This could help address power shortages while pushing the Philippines closer to its renewable energy goals. Government services would also see a digital revolution. Residents in remote areas could access services like tax filing, permits, and licenses online. No more long trips to government offices. In disaster-prone regions, Starlink could create temporary communication networks for emergency responders, ensuring faster aid delivery and better coordination during typhoons or earthquakes. Real-time data collection would allow government agencies to craft more effective policies and allocate resources where they're needed most. Lastly, Starlink's reach could reshape real estate and urban development. Developers could create smart communities, featuring internet-enabled systems for homes, traffic management, and energy efficiency, enhancing the quality of life for residents. And as remote work continues to grow, Previously overlooked locations could become desirable hubs for professionals looking to work from home, spurring new housing developments and vibrant communities. In the end, Elon Musk's interest in the Philippines could bring about a seismic shift. From the economy and infrastructure to real estate and beyond, the possibilities are endless. Here's hoping these changes usher in a brighter, more connected future for the nation. Thanks for tuning in and we can't wait to see you in our next video.